Hi, I'm Bruce Mackey of Mackey Insurance. Mackey Insurance has been a proud member of the Bay of Quinty region for the past 45 years, providing quality and effective insurance products. Mackey Insurance has been a proud partner with the Belleville Senators since their inception in 2017, and we are proud to support the development of professional hockey within the region. I'm Bruce Mackey of Mackey Insurance, and this is Road to the AHL. Well, I think probably just like most Canadian kids, uh, my dad built a, a rink in the backyard. Uh, started playing when I was, I think, four years old. If you ask him, I think I sat in the middle of the ice and cried for that first year. Uh, but small town, very, very small town, Minor Hockey Association was a D center. I know I don't even think they exist anymore. But uh, super small town. Dad was heavily involved uh, with coaching my team, so. Typical small town Canadian kid. I moved away from home when I was 14 to go play Junior B, so that was that was pretty early to go move away. And then after Junior B, I uh, was fortunate enough to be drafted to the OHL, the Ottawa 67s. And then, you know, once that train starts to roll, you start to think, you know, there's a chance. And then, uh, you know, spent, spent four years in Ottawa, had some success there as a group, and then uh, went to San Jose on an invite and never, never really had another job after that outside of hockey. I remember my parents. My parents drove me up to Ottawa, and we they had a van at the time, and I, I, I vividly still remember my parents. We pulled up to the, the billet house once I made the team, and it was almost it was just slow the van down, and and out I get. And parents kept driving the eight-hour trek back home, and um, I was on my own. So it was it was tough. That was uh, obviously before cell phones were were, were everywhere. So. There was some, some long distance phone calls when you can afford the little old calling cards. But um, again, it was just, you're on your own. This is the decision I've made and uh, tried to make the best of it living eight hours away from home. You know what? I, I, I think I try to be a good teammate and, and being a good teammate was sticking up and making sure guys were looked after and nobody was, was taken advantage of. So naturally with that back, the game was a little bit different. With that came fighting. So. Um, you know, I ended up fighting a little bit and actually got pretty decent at it. So that was my avenue. I recognized I wasn't the biggest guy. I, I couldn't, I was a stay at home defenseman. So that was an attribute that I had that some guys weren't willing to do. So I, I took that and ran with it and seen, you know, that was something I could bring to the team that other guys couldn't. Uh, it was a tough decision, but you grow up and you get to that stage in your hockey career and somebody offers you an NHL contract and that's been your dream and that's what you've been fighting for. So it's it's pretty hard to say no to that. And uh, you know what, I tempted fate and I took it. And like I said, never been, never looked back. I just remember, you know, you walk in the dressing room and, there, and there's there's men with, with families and little kids running around the room and running, going home to, to their house and their families and, and it's not, obviously that's not junior anymore. So then you realize, and that's the first time I heard somebody say, hey, you're, you're trying to steal food out of out of my kids' mouth. So you're you're competing against men and you're competing for mortgage payments and, and house payments. So it, it becomes real. And, and that's the biggest thing I remember of the compete level and even practice was there that it was for real. You know what, just like any other player, just trying to find a way in, trying to find a niche, trying to keep improving to, to stick with, you know, your goal is still the NHL. So a uh, couple uh, you know, call ups like you said, and, and just trying to find a way to stick and get closer to the NHL. So it was, it was tough. It was living out of a suitcase. It was traveling city to city, a lot of hotels. Um, but you know what? I, I got to see a lot of North America chasing in my dream and doing something I loved, and getting some life experiences, seeing some different cities. So, so no regrets at all. No, nah, it was it was really good. It was a tough it was a tough year. It's just coming on the heels of 9/11, and that was a group. I was with when 9-11 happened, so uh, obviously the team got extremely tight that, that September, that training camp, and you know, we just were a tight group there, and you know, they made, they made some changes, they, they added some players, and we just went on a run. We almost got swept in the first round. We had to go to game five, back then first round, three to five, and fortunately won game five, and then went on uh, to sweep the rest of our series, including the, the Kelly Cup. And I mean, it's something, you know, you can't take it away. I know it wasn't a Stanley Cup, it was a, it was a, it was a Kelly Cup championship, and I still stay in contact with a lot of those guys, so it was pretty special. Well, I, 
I had got hurt the year before, right at the end of the year. So, you know, I was ten. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go back, but again, it's all I'd ever known. And I was skating in Owen Sound uh, with the OHL team at the time. And fortunately for me, the coach there, Mike Stuthers, you know, saw me working with some of their young defensemen and uh, well before I was getting ready to go to camp and pulled me into his office and, you know, asked me what my end game was. And playing another year at the single A level really wasn't, there wasn't an end game or plan to that. And he asked if I wanted to get into coaching. And it, it's hard to get into coaching, especially at that level that quickly. So to get offered a job in the OHL right out of playing was something I, I just couldn't turn it down. Well, the guy, uh, Kelly Buckberger, was hired as the head coach of Edmonton's farm team in Springfield, and we had a draft pick in Ottawa, or in uh, Owen Sound, Theo Peckham. So I, I had built a relationship with, with Kelly, working with, with Theo, and he would come up to see him play. So when he took the job, he phoned me and offered me a job to be his assistant coach in Springfield, which, uh, you know, at the time I was, I think I was just turning 30 at the time, and I thought, well, you know, this is going to be easy. I'm only 30. I'm already into the American Hockey League. This is this is going to be easy. Well, now I'm I'm not 30 anymore, and I'm still in the American Hockey League. And it took me a while to get back here. So uh, that was a bit of a fast track, but it was pretty exciting to go uh, go to the American League as assistant coach at that age. I had I'd been in Niagara and been an assistant coach there, and then elevated to the head coach there. And I thought I was in a really good spot, but uh, I'd been there for five years. I didn't want to get stagnant, and I had teams uh, offered prior to LA, you know, coaching positions in the American League. And just sitting with my wife, you know, we decided that if you keep saying no, they're going to quit asking. So, kind of had to take take the leap there. Um, it was a guy, Mike Stuthers again, that had given me my first coaching job and offered me to go back and coach with him again in Ontario. So there was familiarity there, it seemed like a good fit. So, um, you know, we took the leap. We were in a great situation in Niagara, but uh, like I said, try to, you're just still trying to climb the ladder. So it was another challenge that uh, my wife and I took on and moved out west. It was, uh, it was nice to come home. And in home in a sense, I meant Canada and Ontario. Uh, California is a different animal. Uh, this is more my speed, so I was very happy to be, you know, the kids were around grandkids and, and, and family, so, so that was nice for the, for the families to, to be closer to us, but um, you know what, a different conference, different, uh, different division, so it was a little bit of feeling out process for me, learning a new staff again, but at the end of the day, uh, obviously it was a, a phenomenal year, like you said, uh, great players, a lot of them in Ottawa now as stars, and unfortunately uh, the world stopped there. And, whatever it was, February, March, and you never know. There was a lot of mixed emotions. Um, obviously, when a change happens, somebody loses a job, somebody has family, so that's, that's always tough. And uh, so that, that, was, that was tough because, you know, you'd, you'd waited, you're, and you, you're excited for the time, but you're also disappointed and sad for, for the guys going the other way. But uh, you know what, there's no time in, in hockey for that. It's, it's the next guy up, and I was the next guy up. Fortunately, they gave me the opportunity, so it was, it was right to work. And that last 30 games uh, went by extremely fast. Your, your staff is a little, you're down a guy, so guys are picking up for other guys. So you, it was really head down for 30 games and just keep your head above water, try to win as many games, try to sneak into the playoffs as you can and, and see what happens at the end of the year. It was, it was exciting, it was really fun, it was an adrenaline rush, but uh, not a lot of time to sit and reflect on wins and losses because it was just, it was, it was a sprint to the end. <laughs> I want to win. I want to win here. I want this team to win every night. I want to see guys uh, go from here and get long extended NHL careers uh, from something they learned and developed under our staff here in Belleville. Um, my goal is I'll, I'll go into every single game with a game plan to hope to win that game. I think we have the, the, the players here, the staff here to do it. I think there's a chance of every game you go into that this, this group has a chance to win. So if you take care of the day, you win more than you lose, you know what happens at the end of the year, you get a chance to play in that second season. And then once you get into that second season, you know, you get a hot goal, you get a hot power play, you get a hot line, anything can happen, but you get in there and I would never uh, set a goal that's, that's too low. I think everybody in our group has a, has an idea what we want our goal to be. So my goal is to uh, get some guys called up to the National Hockey League and keep winning. That's our goal, my goal.